what's everyone saying it's your boy someone was back again i'm here today at st andrew's square here in edinburgh city center behind me is st andrew's square tram stop and yeah i know i am like two and a half three months late yeah but trams to new haven have arrived and i'm taking this opportunity to see what's the chat let's go on the tram on the 7th of June 2023, the much-anticipated Edinburgh Trams extension to New Haven finally began operation, following a string of delays, cost overruns and revisions. The 8-stop 4.7km long £207 million extension now brings trams to the east of the city, travelling down the infamous Leith Walk, then diverging off to serve the Port of Leith, Ocean Terminal Shopping Centre and New Haven. If you know anything about the Edinburgh trams, check out my old video here, you'll know that this extension has not been without its controversy from a whole range of stakeholders. Something flagged up was that residents and business owners on Leithwalk had seen their road become a permanent building site to facilitate the tram's construction, noting its detrimental impacts to businesses and just daily life in general. But now, it seems to be relishing from the tram's existence. I got chatting to some folk on the tram down and heard how beneficial it has been having a tram down this part of Edinburgh, which has made it so easy to reach family members, friends and loved ones. It's made the city more accessible during the Edinburgh Festival Fringe and it's also been raising them property prices. Shmoney! In this video, I'm heading down to New Haven and will be working my way back up to St Andrew's Square. So we've reached New Haven, the end of the Edinburgh Trams extension. Yeah, it was nice and smooth, everything's all new. A recurring trend we see along the route is the occurrence of two platform tram stops, starting off here at the terminus. Each stop has two platforms, a waiting shelter with benches, onward travel information, live departure screens, ticket machines and validators. New Haven is home to a newish residential development called Western Harbour, which has brought this former fishing and shipbuilding village and its surrounding area back to life. Most of the area's main hotspots like the Harbour, Lighthouse and the Asda Superstore are about a five minute walk from the tram stop. Nevertheless, there's not much time for me here at the tram stop, so I think it's time to head back onto the next tram to Ocean Terminal. Alongside the tramline to Ocean Terminal, a bike and pedestrian path has been built to provide a nice route down the shoreline. This whole area has been a recipient of extended urban regeneration since the 1980s, and trams have been a welcome addition. Been here before, like two, no, three, four years ago, maybe. The stop serves the namesake shopping centre, which opened in 2001. And behind the shopping centre, the Royal Yacht Britannia is moored and hosts a visitor attraction. There's no time for that, of course, again. So it's on to the next stop. I'm telling you, these trams are running really irregularly. 1, 3, 6, 16. And here comes our tram actually. Port of Leith, Port of Leith, tram, tram, same island uh, type platform, same type like flat, kind of new build-ish next to the tram stop. But hey, oh, look at these flats, they look quite nice, don't they? they? They look quite nice, they look quite nice. Port of Leith serves the main area of the Port of Leith. There's no other transport connections around here, so it does feel a tad empty and quiet around here. There still remains a lot of remnants of the area's coast-based history, 
with this lovely restaurant in a ship and the Scottish Merchant Navy Memorial, which is situated down this road next to the luxury Malmaison Hotel. I think it's time for the tram. And this is the shop. Tram's leaving. This stop is arranged a bit differently to the others, being smack bang in the middle of the road with motor vehicles and trams sharing lanes. Near the tram stop, there's the old assembly halls and the former corn exchange, which are both rentable event spaces now. And there's also this nice statue commemorating one of Scotland's most celebrated men, the poet Robbie Burns. Oh, and I also saw this. Well done, Edinburgh, for investing in late night travel when the people really need it. Anyways, onwards to the next stop. The tram continues down this road, Constitution Street, to the next stop, Foot of the Walk, which is the foot of Leith Walk. Foot of the Walk. Leith Walk is just down there. Foot of Leith Walk. The Walk. The platforms are built into Constitution Road and are a nice change from the style seen at the other stops. Apart from the spoons, which has some ridiculous prices which are spotted from just walking past. Across the road, the building of the former Leaf Central Railway Station is an interesting relic to spot. The area is basically the retail hotspot of Leith and has a shopping centre nearby at the foot of the walk. Oh, hey. Tram time! The line now travels down Leith Walk and you can note the single lane which is shared by tram and road traffic with the occasional parking spot poking out of the lane. Since the extension's opening, trams have been subject to delays due to the occasional car or van parking so roguely, often on bike lanes or on the street, that it blocks the path of trams passing. You see, trams can't screw screw and Tokyo drift out of the way of cars and some folk still don't realise that. But we'll give them some leeway for now. People still got to get used to Leithwalk actually being open. Belfast Street on Leithwalk. I think I might, well, depending on how long the next one is. Let's see, the next one is in... Uh, uh, six minutes. I'll just stay here. Why not, why not, why not? <laughs> I'm already running late, so I might as well just take the time. Leith Walk is a trendy hipster yo pros paradise for sure. Plenty of shops, cafes, independent businesses dotted down the walk. I actually don't know how in all my times in Edinburgh I've not been here to Leith. On a nice day, yeah. During the festival, it's the summer. Hey, it's looking nice, but when it's raining, it's raining. Ooh. Ooh. Further down Leith Walk, it's McDonald Road.
McDonald Road. And I think my luck has quite up to me because the next tram's in 13 minutes. Uh, yeah, sorry, why would I wait 13 minutes when Pivardi Place is literally right there? Come on, man. If you are not walking between these two stops, like literally, ah, we are there. Yeah, the, 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 the stop is like there, like right there. This is Piccadilly Place, the last stop on the extension. The stop replaced York Place, which was the last stop on the line from opening until the extension opened. Since then, the stop has been demolished and there's barely a scooby of the stop left to this day. Piccadilly Place is on the edge of the city centre, with the Omni Shopping Centre and Edinburgh Playhouse nearby. It also serves Colton Hill, the new St. James Quarter, and basically everywhere else in the new town. There's still a bit of landscaping work to be done here, and it doesn't really affect much. It was nice to have the trams up and running so that people can get travelling. As I get on my last tram into town, let me sum up my thoughts on the extension. You know, I really liked travelling down to New Haven, uh, it's nice to finally see the line open after such an eternity. There wasn't a lot of good press during the construction. Uh, you know, everyone from 73-year-old Sheila to 23-year-old broke student Simon were complaining about whether trams were worth it. But everyone I spoke to on the day has been very happy and proud to have these big pieces of metal rolling down their local road. It also helps that Edinburgh's transport network is very well integrated between trams and buses. Wait. So there's no change in fares, bus routes will have been altered to link well with the tram stops, and much more. Overall, I'm loving it. And now it's time for the extension out to Northwest and the cheeky circular route down south to hurry up and get going. All right, that's me at St Andrews Square. This tram's heading off to the airport and I'm heading off to Waverley Station because I need to get on a train. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment, and I don't know, whatever. Good stuff. I'll catch you in a bit. There's a tram coming ahead, so gotta be safe. See you in a bit.